Today it's gonna be very short and sweet but yet useful. Look up filters. So here I am introducing lookup filters to you. So first of all, let's look at the definition of lookup filters. Lookup filter is used to filter records when we look up for one side records using lookup search icon on the many side records. What that actually means is that let's say there are two objects, object A and object B. Object A is on the one side and object B is on the many side. Whenever we create a record of object B, we need to relate it to the object A's record using that lookup search icon available over there. And when we click on that lookup search icon, there is a lookup dialog that comes over and over there, there are certain records of object A uh, with which we can relate that uh, like object B's record. In that situation, we can filter out that which record should be available on that lookup dialog which will be available to relate with object B's record. And that can be controlled by lookup filters. Lookup filters are basically or, or, uh, I mean, are of two types. First is required and second is not required. Required means that uh, whenever you set a particular criteria, that criteria will be fulfilled and only those records will be available to relate. But in not required, what happens is that, uh, I mean, initially all the records which meet the particular criteria set into the lookup filters will be available. But if you want to relate another record from that lookup, uh, like from that lookup filter, except that lookup filter, then you can clear all the search results and get all the records of object A and can relate to every record available on that particular object A. And to understand it more clearly, let me give you an example. Now let's take an example to understand lookup filters very well. Uh, over here, I have take a, taken two examples to understand each type of lookup filters. The first one is required and another one is not required. In the required, there are two objects, account and opportunity. Uh, let's take a scenario or a situation in which you want, uh, like, uh, let's let's say you are creating opportunities and you want only active accounts to be available to relate to that opportunity. In that situation, you'll create a lookup filter in which there will be a criteria set as account should be active. Like there's a checkbox field like that, uh, which says, is it active or not? And like, if it is selected, then only the account should be, uh, account record should be available to be related with opportunity. In that situation, new opportunities or the opportunities which you are trying to create will be created for active account records only, not for the account records. Those are not active or those do not have that active checkbox field checked. So this is a required field and uh, like over here we'll set, like, first of all, we'll set the lookup filter and then we'll make it as required because we only want opportunities on the active accounts, not on the inactive accounts. Whereas here comes different scenario. There are two objects, bank account and deposits. These two are custom objects and these two are also related to each other where bank is on the one side and deposits is on the many side because a bank account can have multiple deposits. Uh, let's take a scenario that uh, you are creating a deposit uh, record and uh, like in that deposit record, bank account should need uh, like needs to be related. And current accounts are the uh, ones uh, like in which deposits are made regularly. In that situation, you will set a lookup filter like, uh, uh, I mean, show the bank accounts in which the account type is saving or current account. In that situation, whenever you you will try to create a deposit a deposit record and try to use that lookup search icon and when the lookup dialog appears, over there you will see the bank account records which have, with, like bank account records who, like whose type is current account only and not the savings account or other types of accounts. But if you want to see the savings account also, because in savings account can all like there can be a deposit made into savings account also, or into uh, like minor account also, or into any other type of account also. In that situation, you'll be able to clear that filter, like clear the search filter, and all the records will be available in that lookup dialog. This is how lookup filters work. Now let's see that how we will set up lookup filters in the Salesforce org. Uh, what we actually want to do is uh, we want to filter out the accounts uh, based on the activity field that if it is checked uh, checked or if it is set as yes, then only the account should be related to an opportunity. Uh, so we'll simply go to that relationship field. Uh, like in the case of accounts and opportunity, that relationship field will be on the opportunities because opportunity will, is on the many side. So we'll type in opportunity and we'll go to the field. And over here, we can find out uh, account name over here. We'll click on edit. Over here are lookup filters. We'll click on show filter settings. 
and here we can add up as many conditions as we want and we can control that with like i mean we can control the logic also that for, like let's say over here we are setting the condition as account first of all um account and over here what we want is is it active or not like let's say wrong name then active and equals to yes so only those accounts will be available those uh, have active uh, picklist fields value set as yes and if you want to set any another condition we can set it over here also and if you want to like i mean like change this logic by default it is and and if you want to set it as or then we can click on add filter logic and change it like this that's it it's so simple but currently we do not have that much requirement uh, so we'll set it like this the here is a condition and here we can set the type that is it required or is it optional so in the case of accounts and opportunities uh, like earlier we have discussed the example it is required because uh, opportunities can only be created for active accounts not for an active account so we'll set it as required only and over here we can set the condition uh, like if the records are not available then what error should be presented over there so we'll set it as like uh, No active accounts available, and an opportunity can be created on an active account only. That's it. And click on save. Now let's go to opportunity tab and try. To, let's try to create a opportunity record related to an account. Or here, new opportunity for lookup filter, whatever the name is, and over here we'll click on lookup search icon. Now over here, uh, as you can see, only three account records are coming. Whereas, let's go to accounts tab and see how many records are there. multiple records 16 records but on this lookup dialog only three records are coming let's see blues entertainment corp express logistics and gen point blues entertainment corp gen point and express logistics all these three uh, records account records have active checked as yes over here yes and yes and if we see pyramid construction it's not yes Yeah, so this is how you're gonna create it for the required. And now let's uh, create the not required one. Oh, okay. Over here, pyramid construction is also coming. And on the pyramid constructions, it is required on the and let's see on the S fours. On the S fours, it's not yes. Whereas in pyramid construction, it's yes. Okay. So we'll simply relate it to. Any of the active accounts. So this is how we are filtering it. Say, how oh, I need to set the close date also, stage also. So an opportunity can only be created on active account. This is how we are gonna uh, like set it up for like using lookup filters. Now let's go to bank account and deposits. And bank account is on the one side and deposit is on the many side. So we'll go to object because deposit and bank account both are custom objects and over here its deposit will go to deposit because deposit on the many side so the relationship field must be created on the deposit object and here it is so I'll simply click on edit and
Okay. Uh, here is coming lookup filter. So I'll simply click on show lookup filter. It's same as we have done earlier. And now I want to set as bank account. Deposit bank account. Deposit, no bank account, bank account. There is a type account type and uh, insert equals current account. Insert selected, and now I'll set the filter type as optional. Save. And over here it is bank account as you can see there are multiple bank accounts and over here are deposits whenever I go to create a new deposit there is a lookup search icon I'll click on it only three accounts are available because all these three accounts are All these three accounts are current accounts except all are not current accounts but as we have set it as optional here it is coming as show all results so if I click on show all results all the bank accounts will be available to be, uh, like to be related with this record like this hope you have understood Now let's see the points that you need to consider while creating a lookup filter. So first is, it can be created for lookup marginal and hierarchical relationship fields. What that actually means is that you can create this lookup filter for lookup, marginal and hierarchical relationship, all of the relationship. It's not restricted to a particular type of relationship that it can be created on, on only marginal or on, only on lookup or something like that. It can be created on any type of relationship field. Now the second point. Lookup filters are case sensitive. All the uh, filters you are creating over there, all the conditions which are uh, setting up over there are case sensitive. So you need to take care of that. And uh, the third point is we can enable or disable them anytime. What that means is that uh, if you want that, uh, I mean, you have created a lookup filter uh, like before some time, but now you want to test something and you want to disable that without deleting that lookup filter. In that situation, you can disable that filter and it will work accordingly. And when again you want to re-enable it, you can simply check that field and enable that filter. That's it. Now don't wait and hit the subscribe button down over here to get weekly videos all related to Salesforce from the Salesforce Hulk. And especially if you're watching this video on Facebook or LinkedIn, there's a link down in the comments. Just hit that link, go to the YouTube channel and hit the subscribe button to get the weekly videos all related to Salesforce. So, see you next week. Until then, bye-bye. Take care.